Pierce O'Brien Real Estate with the fourth edition of the Northwest Weekly Property News for 2021, where real estate information is on the house. Buyers and renters this week have had the circuit breaker applied to on-site inspections and auctions with our five-day lockdown, but that doesn't seem to have any effect on the auction activity over the weekend. The state reported 392 auction results with a whopping 92% clearance rate as reported by realestate.com.au. Here's fast facts of what's been happening this week. Despite Victoria's five-day circuit breaker, the rest of the country hasn't blinked an eye. Aussie stocks only on Tuesday this week hit a fresh 11-month high after US stocks early in the month hit an all-time high. ASX companies have begun reporting their six-month results and the stock market is reacting positively to the results so far. The ABS reported national payroll jobs are now at the same level they were a year ago. Annual growth in payrolls over the last 12 months was the strongest in the Northern Territory with positive 3.5% growth and Victoria only posting a 1.7% decline. The Reserve Bank released its boardroom minutes from the February 2 meeting which announced an extension of the government bond buying program, more commonly known as quantitative easing by a further $100 billion from mid-April. The governing bank also signalled that interest rates probably won't lift until 2024 at the earliest, quote, unquote. Job ads, as measured by SEEK, rose by 4% in January to be up 6.5% on the year. After new home sales lifted by 91.8% in December, home sales fell by 69.4% in January to 4,143 units to end down 12.1% on a year ago. And finally, CanStar Group executive Steve Mickenbecker said there are now 120 fixed rates mortgage loan below 2% on the Australian mortgage market. Let's take a look at the numbers for the O'Brien Network last week. The weekly listing numbers coming to market is still sitting above 100, with 108 new properties hitting the market. We saw 106 come under contract and 96 confirmed sales with a top price recorded at $1.78 million. Going to auction this week is 12 Anguri Crescent in Taylor's Lake. Sure to be a really good auction for a great property. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms, two car, a prime location, all set on 700 odd square metres. We will be there at 10.30 and the auction will commence at 11 a.m. That's all for this week. I'm Alex Takakis. Remember the information provided is of a general nature. You should always seek independent legal, financial, taxation or other advice in relation to your unique circumstances. Have a great week.